Well, I think architecture is really important for communities because it's one of the ways that we reflect who we are and our beliefs and what's important to us, and it really reflects the culture, climate, and craft of a place. I always found that architecture was kind of the perfect balance of creativity, problem solving, and real world application. Lake Flato Architects is an architecture and planning firm based in Texas. Our design is all about understanding the place and the people to create a place that's really connected to its specific site and connected to nature. The firm is extremely collaborative. Everyone on the team has a voice. Great architecture needs to be inclusive, and in order for it to be inclusive, we need to make sure that we are including a diverse range of perspectives whenever we are coming up with design ideas and solutions. If we want to improve the way we live and create more inclusive environments, we need to think about how we're designing space. We like to include wellness rooms and projects so that nursing mothers feel welcome and others have a space to pray. Seeking out as many voices as possible is hugely important to us. And early on in all of our projects, we have these big integrated design workshops where we bring in all the different consultants and the clients. Miro has been the perfect platform to host these sorts of workshops because everyone is able to participate at once in, in a usual workshop setting. So everyone's kind of thinking through problems and trying to come up with solutions at the same time. And I also like the infinite aspect of it about how you can zoom in and you know your meeting from last week's down here and your meeting from this week is up and over to the left and you can always float around and go back to those other pieces. We are working in all different regions throughout the country right now. So Miro has played a pretty important role in that. One of the things that I love about Miro is it limits the amount of time you have to spend on Zoom because you don't necessarily need to be on a call to collaborate. You have the ability to start and stop, read comments, provide feedback in a stop and go manner that just allows us to use our time more efficiently. As an architect, we're very visual thinkers, and so having this space that's basically a digital version of a pinup board that we would have had in a conference room before has been really helpful, and I think it's really helpful for clients. Sustainable design includes not just the environment and the economic benefits, but also social equity. You need to design accessible, inclusive, welcoming spaces in order for them to truly be deemed as sustainable. So Miro allows us to engage and access users and perspectives that we haven't been able to engage previously. We all have a responsibility to be stewards, and that's I as an architect, but also our, our users and thinking about the future of our children. With this past year, I think we've all seen how sort of being in one place and being by ourselves can really impact us. And I think people are starting to understand more how space really matters and how space can impact them from the physical well-being to the mental health side. And really creating spaces where we can all gather together is so much more important.